Hello, Nisi Council. This is a video about how we're gonna take our arch nemesis, the palm frond, and go into our biochar process and make something really valuable out of it. And here are the cans of char inside. So, here is fantastic char. When it's cold, it sounds a bit like broken glass very light. This is um, Polonia off cut from my belly boys. In the bottom there is the ash, which is left over. So the reason this turns into char and not ash, because there's holes in the bottom of these buckets. And you put, the, put it in there, put the lid on, and as the wood inside the bucket heats up, the gases and the methane come out the bottom of the holes here and ignite. So it doesn't actually take that much fuel or wood inside around it to start it because all of the gases that come out of the wood combust. So here is a bundle of palm fronds that I've bound up and I'm gonna put them in the buckets to make char. Huh, cutting this stuff up and putting it in the buckets is actually working better than I ever imagined. Just gotta get the right sizes now. So I filled three buckets up with our friendly palm fronds, and then I'll just fill the fourth up with the um, standard Polonia, my scraps. So the smoke coming out of this can is the uh, palm fronds heating up. And so I've gotta get the lid on here, get the fire going around it so that that gas will go down, ignite, instead of going up into the atmosphere. I just put the top on. This is not that great of a fit, but soon all that smoke will disappear and uh, it just all gets ignited inside there as it gets hotter and hotter. Well, it's the next morning and let's see how we went. Where it was not in the bucket, it's just turned to ash. And inside the bucket, we have beautiful char. Pick it up. It did not turn to ash because the air was, um, the holes are on the bottom and no air went out the top. If there was holes in the top of the bucket, of course, this would all just have burnt into ash. But because the holes are in the bottom of the bucket, it turns into char. And inside this is millions and millions of little apartment buildings and little factories for the biobes to move into, to hold water, and to make a wonderful growing environment for our gardens. And this is just pure carbon going back into the soil. Is this the future of our palm fronds in Nusa?